today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create five circular steps infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works as you can see here i have created five cutout options here and on my first click the option will pop up from this cutout you can see i put the option number you can add the title and the detailed text and if you have the icons you can add the icon here and on my next click the second option pops up then the third options with some different colors you can see here this is the fourth option and this is the fifth option or the fifth step and if you want you can organize or place the options in a different way also something like this also it can be done so it's up to you which way you would like to use this particular slide so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes I'm going to select a uh, oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can choose any good color and press ctrl D to duplicate this and hold the shift key, reduce the size, you can see here and I'm going to change the color to some light gray color, you can see here and exactly put it in the center and i'm going to change the color maybe to somewhat darker color here and then i'm going to just uh, hide only the the bottom part or the lower part of the circle for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the the lower portion of the circle you can see here and make sure that it is in center shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white which is or whatever the background you have the same color and then i'm going to add one more shape with a shadow effect kind of thing press ctrl d of to duplicate this you can see here let me just make it a black color right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency level and then you can go to the effects and soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here if you want to give the oval shape also you can go to the format edit shape and i'm just going to change like oval shape you can see here and then exactly put it here and then just send this two back so you can see here it looks like uh, is a cutout and the oval shape is coming out of this one so once this is done i'm going to add one more uh, circle and the text now I'm going to add one more uh, shape which is the triangle I'm going to select you can see here select this triangle draw the triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape will give the same color what you have used for the circle here then rotate you can just say flip vertical and then just bring it here so it looks something like this and go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the small circle hold the shift key you can see here then shape outline i'm going to give the same color and you can go to the lines and increase the width just increase the width maybe a uh, two points and shape fill if you want you can give it white or you can just change any other light color also so once this is done i'm going to insert text box i'm going to put this as step number one center align choose any font maybe i'm going to select the oswald you can see here make it bold and then you can just put it here and you can insert the detailed text along with the title just add your text here you can see here again center align and reduce the font size and if you have the icons you can just go to insert icons and select any icon of your choice maybe this one insert again i'm going to reduce the size to 0.5 the height and width and just put it here and again give some gray color so you can see here our first option is ready i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it and then put it one here Control D, move it here. This is my option number two. Control D, this is my option number three. You can see here wherever 
and this is my option number four so it's a matter of just changing the text so this one will be two this is three and this will be four and then you can simply come and select the color of your choice whichever color you feel better you can just come and choose from this particular option so you can see here let me just choose something different color so you can see and then you can change these colors also and change the icons now let's do a small animation close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm just right mouse select the first option right mouse click and ungroup it and i'm just going to group only these three so you can see here the pink circle the gray circle and the text and you can just press ctrl g to group it and then go to format and then send this to back something like this you can see here so i'm just going to select this and give the animations go to the animations tab add animation more entrance effect maybe i can select peek in so it comes something like this and click ok and then i'm going to select this one and i'm going to say a wipe effect wipe effect i'm going to say from top and make sure it is after previous let me just play it comes something like this and i'm going to group this also press ctrl g to group it and then this one i can give a basic zoom effect you can see here this should also happen after the previous and then you can add the animation you can go to the more entrance effect stretch and i can say from top and this should also happen after previous so let me just play it comes something like this and if this animation wants to come before this one so i can just drag this up and let me just play so it comes you can see here something like this so the same thing you can use the animation painter to copy the animation effects to the rest of the options that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.